So obviously, Mr. Vladimir Putin was again elected as president of Russia. This happened in the time he was embroiled in a war with Ukraine and not very popular. As his term in office progressed, he obviously forgotten his promises to the 80% of the population who elected him, but remembered his promise to his elite friend and the oligarchs. As the war in Ukraine was not doing so well, and the country was running into a serious lack of vodka, everyone wanted him out. So, one day, while he was at a party with his oligarch friends, some punch-dunk vodka-induced Russians decided to kidnap him for a hefty ransom. The security service members responsible for the guarding of the president obviously have their bit of vodka at these events. And, and this, this was exactly what the punch-drunk kidnappers were waiting for. So, they have put sleeping formula into all the bottles of vodka to ensure everyone will fall asleep except them. If they don't get too thirsty, the plan will work. So two hours into the party, the music went silent and everyone were fast asleep. They loaded the sleeping president into the back of a truck. They then put a big board up stating that the president of the people of Russia have been kidnapped and would only be released if a ransom of 100 million rubles were to be paid. If not, we will put gasoline over him and burn him to death. Further details to follow. This truck was modified with a secret soundproof compartment to house the president until they could reach their hideout. So they left the scene with the president nice and comfy sleeping in the back of the truck. But some of the security service members who did not drink too much awoke shortly after the escape. The security services immediately contacted every man and his dog involved in security of the country and a plan was implemented to find this very important person as quick as possible. All the country's satellites were redirected to see if they can spot the getaway vehicle which housed the president. Their first line of defense was to stop and check every vehicle leaving Moscow, as every vehicle had to be searched while satellite data is being processed. So, the Russian version of an APB or an all-points bulletin went out to all the police stations, which then sent it out to every police vehicle. The bulletin read, the president of Russia have been kidnapped. All vehicles must be treated as suspect. Immediate roadblocks required to prevent any unsearched vehicles from leaving the city. Ransom money of 100 million rubles required, or we will kill the president by pouring gasoline over him and burning him to death. All the necessary measures have now been put in place. It was like DEFCON 2 for this city of Moscow. In front of the truck was these two semi-drunk vodka heads, seeing millions of rubles coming their way. We did it. They shouted very happily, we are going to be rich. Suddenly, the driver brought the truck to a standstill. In front of them was this five mile long queue of vehicles. Now they were truly stuck in traffic. They could not move and their paycheck in the back of the truck could now also not be moved. After about two hours, they started to see a checkpoint and everyone looked very happy as one car after the other went through the checkpoint. This was not abnormal as everyone have their daily dose of vodka it helps against the cold, they say. Our two villains now got very nervous. Their plan is in big danger, and so are they, but they could not move. They were now in the system. As the checkpoint came close, they were continuously reminding themselves to be calm and not act like suspects, else it's game over. Very nervous moments, as it finally became their turn to get into the checkpoint their lives are over. This is it. At this point, a police officer came walking towards the truck, sunglasses on and hand on his holster. Stay calm. Stay calm is all that the kidnappers can think about. As the officer approached, the driver lowered his truck window and asked, 
What is this all about, officer? Haven't you heard? The president have been kidnapped, the officer said. Wow, that's bad, the driver replied. And what do they want? 100 million rubles, or they will kill him by throwing gasoline over him and burn him to death, the office replied. Anything we can do, officer, the driver asked. Yes, the officer said. We are asking for donations for the president. The driver now clearly much calmer as when he entered the checkpoint, took out his wallet and said, and what is the average donation so far? The officer spit out the gum he was chewing and said, so far, 4,000 vehicles. Average donation. Mmm, one gallon of gasoline. <laughs> if you like this joke, please keep watching our next joke by clicking here.